Throughout history, people have reported otherworldly experiences. Such incidents are present in virtually all cultures, transcending language and religion. What is the nature of such mysterious events? Are they just a series of independent and disconnected phenomena as appears to be the case at face value, or are they somehow related? In this video, we are going to consider these questions, and we'll see how the Quran reveals the true reality of everything paranormal. The paranormal is defined as events that are beyond the scope of normal scientific understanding. What follows are some of the most commonly reported occurrences of paranormal activity. Ghosts are said to be disembodied spirits of the dead that wander the earth. They are mentioned in the oldest literature that we know of. For example, the Epic of Gilgamesh describes individuals who descend into the underworld and return to the earth as shadows. Related to ghosts is the practice of necromancy, which involves communication with the dead. The rituals vary greatly, from mediums who channel spirits to African folk religions which make contact with deceased ancestors. UFO stands for Unidentified Flying Object. They are commonly believed to be advanced technology, such as alien spacecraft or secret government weapons. Although reports of UFOs have increased substantially in recent times, they are not a modern phenomenon, as there are also reports of strange aerial objects in the ancient world. For example, the Roman historian Titus Livius reported sightings of gleaming phantom ships in the sky. Although the descriptions of UFOs vary in terms of morphology, some consistent patterns have emerged, such as the phenomenal speed with which they manoeuvre, along with their ability to seemingly appear and disappear at will. Past life recall is an experience or impression of oneself having existed as another person from a previous life. This can be in the form of memories or even a feeling that one is inexplicably familiar with places and events relating to people of whom they have no prior knowledge. Buddhism is a religion in which past life recall plays a major factor in selecting its leader. When the current Dalai Lama dies, a committee of senior monks search for a child born around the same time. Once the candidate has been identified, they are tested by being presented with several artifacts, some of which belong to the previous Dalai Lama. If the child is able to identify the correct objects, then they will be selected as the new leader, as it is seen as proof that they are his true reincarnation. During cardiac arrest, the heart ceases to function, and as a consequence, you stop breathing and the brain shuts down. From a medical perspective, this is when a person should no longer have any conscious awareness. Yet a small percentage of people claim to have had near-death experiences, in which they left their body and were fully aware of their surroundings. After being resuscitated, they were able to accurately recall details during the time they were clinically dead. Parapsychology refers to a range of psychic phenomena. Telepathy, for example, is the ability of people to communicate thoughts directly and read minds. Clairvoyance is the ability to see events happening somewhere else. Telekinesis is the action of mind on matter, in which objects are supposedly caused to move or change as a result of mental concentration upon them. Cryptids are creatures who are believed to exist on the basis of anecdotal or other evidence considered insufficient by mainstream science. The concept of fantastical beasts has been present throughout history. While the creatures themselves often vary greatly from culture to culture, there are convergences which continue to challenge anthropologists. For example, dragons are present in most cultures, even among those that are diverse and develop independently, so did not influence one another. Modern examples of cryptids include Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. Islam informs us about entities known as jinn, who are said to be a creation distinct to that of human beings. God tells us in the Quran, And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. The jinn exist in a world that is parallel to our own. The default state of jinn is one of invisibility, we cannot see them when they are in their natural form. The word jinn comes from an Arabic root, meaning hidden from sight. The Quran states, Indeed he sees you, he and his tribe, from where you do not see them. Jinn are able to interact with and manipulate objects in our world. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Cover your utensils, and tie your water skins, and close your doors, and keep your children close to you at night, as jinn spread out at that time and snatch things away. Unlike human beings, the jinn are of different types. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The jinn are of three types. A type that has wings, and they fly through the air. A type that looks like snakes and dogs. And a type that stops for a rest, then resumes its journey. The Quran relates a story about Prophet Solomon, in which a jinn is said to have transported a throne from Yemen to Jerusalem in the blink of an eye. 
indicating they possess great strength and can traverse vast distances in a very short amount of time. Said one who had knowledge from the scripture, I will bring it, the throne, to you, Solomon, before your glance returns to you. And when Solomon saw it placed before him, he said, This is from the favour of my Lord. They are skilled shapeshifters who can take on the appearance of different things, even specific people who have died. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said with regards to the trials of the coming Antichrist, Part of his trial will be that he will say to a Bedouin, Do you think that if I resurrect your father and mother for you, that you will testify that I am your Lord? He will say yes. So two devils will appear to him in the image of his father and mother, saying, O my son, follow him, for he is your Lord. The Quran reveals that jinn can plant thoughts and suggestions in people by means of whispering. Say I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind, the sovereign of mankind, the God of mankind, from the evil of the retreating whisperer, who whispers evil into the breasts of mankind, from among the jinn of mankind. They can even influence our dreams. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Dreams are of three types, glad tidings from God, a suggestion of one's own mind, and frightening dreams from Satan. These characteristics of the jinn can account for every paranormal incident that's ever been reported. Their ability to shapeshift explains ghosts, as well as sightings of other strange creatures. Their ability to fly and turn invisible accounts for aerial phenomena such as UFOs. Jinn can also account for every psychic phenomenon. Clairvoyants benefit from their great speed, which allows them to be endowed with knowledge of events happening in faraway places. Telekinetics are able to move objects with the assistance of jinn, who manipulate them on their behalf. Telepathists communicate directly and read minds via the jinn, who act as messengers, reading the thoughts of the transmitter and delivering them to a receiver. The ability of jinn to influence us by means of whispering suggestions accounts for past life recall. If they can make one feel familiar with a person from the past, then it can lead one to thinking that they have a personal connection. The ability of jinn to interfere with our dreams accounts for near-death experiences. If they can plant images into the mind of an unconscious person, then when that person is resuscitated, they will be able to recall details that would otherwise be unknown to them. You can see that literally every paranormal event can be accounted for using the Islamic concept of the jinn. Theories that are consistent and have great explanatory power are much sought after when it comes to understanding life and the universe around us. In the world of science, physicists have for decades been involved in a race to discover a unifying theory of everything that fully explains and links together all physical aspects of the universe. This quest to explain all reality is considered the holy grail of modern physics and remains one of the major unsolved problems. The need for a theory of everything has arisen because two of the most prominent theories in physics are contradictory. The theory that describes very big things, general relativity, and the theory that describes very small things, quantum mechanics, each work amazingly well on their own, but when combined, break down. Physicists hope to find a unified theory that resolves this incompatibility and describes everything in the universe in one fell swoop. Islam reveals aspects of the unseen that can explain all the paranormal activity throughout human history. Islamic teachings about the jinn represent an all-encompassing explanation, that much sought after theory of everything, which ties all these seemingly unrelated phenomena together. Why would the jinn want to be behind such paranormal events? What is their motivation? Just like human beings, they have free will, and there are both good and evil among them. The Quran reveals, some jinn said, and among us are the righteous and among us are others not so. We were of divided ways. The Quran teaches that the supreme leader of the devils is a jinn called Iblis, which is the personal name of Satan. The ultimate goal of Iblis, as well as that of his followers, is to mislead mankind. The Quran states, Iblis said, I will surely sit in wait for them, mankind, on your straight path. Why does Iblis have such animosity towards mankind? It all began with the creation of our forefather, Adam. Iblis existed before the creation of man, and he used to be a pious worshipper of God. He was so righteous that he was elevated to the status of the angels and dwelt with them in paradise. When God created Adam as the first human being, he ordered Iblis to prostrate to Adam as a means of showing respect. Iblis refused this command out of pride and arrogance, thinking he was superior to Adam. God then cast Iblis out of paradise as a punishment for his disobedience. The Quran tells us, 
And when your Lord said to the angels, I will create a human being out of clay. And when I proportioned him and breathed into him of my created soul, then fall down to him in prostration. So all the angels prostrated, all of them entirely, except Iblis. God said, O Iblis, what is the matter with you that you are not with those who prostrate? He said, Never would I prostrate to a human. God said, Then get out of it, paradise, for indeed you are expelled. Iblis blamed Adam for his own downfall, and ever since then he has had a personal vendetta against mankind. Iblis has sought revenge by leading Adam and his descendants astray through deception. Here the Quran relates to us the story of how Iblis went on to trick Adam by lying to him, causing him to also be cast out of paradise. And God said, O Adam, dwell you and your wife in paradise, and eat from wherever you will, but do not approach this tree, lest you be among the wrongdoers. But Satan whispered to them, he said, Your Lord did not forbid you this tree. And he swore, by God to them, indeed, I am to you from among the sincere advisers. So he made them fall through deception. The war against mankind has been waged for millennia and continues to this day. Iblis has troops whom he sends out in order to spread mischief. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Verily, Satan places his throne over the water and he sends out his troops. The closest to him in rank are the greatest at causing tribulations. These claims about the mischievous conduct of the jinn are reflected in the world of the paranormal. If we analyse the paranormal events that have been reported, we will find that although they differ greatly in nature, the entities behind them are generally elusive and secretive. They are notoriously difficult to capture on camera and offer only fleeting glimpses of themselves. It is apparent that these entities are diabolical in nature. They intend to cause confusion and fear among people. We can see that Islam has amazing insight into the world of the unseen because it unveils the true reality of the paranormal in a way that is both comprehensive and consistent. To learn more about the miracles of the Quran, please download your free copy of the book, The Eternal Challenge, at the link below.